Coffee first, then Seco first. Let's dig in. Salut, Greg here for French Touch. Thank you very much for tuning into the channel. Hope you're well. Today we are talking about the Seco first. So grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's have a look what it looks like. To really understand what the Seco First is all about, we have to keep in mind that Seco Lure was first known to produce eye-hand, wooden, handmade, art body lures for trout fishing. And the goal behind the design of the Seco First was to produce a plastic lure that would keep most of the characteristic of a wooden hard body lure for trout fishing. So it took them one and a half year of prototyping and testing to achieve the design and the action of the bait as they wanted it to be. As you have just seen, the bait is available in two sizes, an all rounder 53 mil size and a much larger 68 mil size, both available either as a suspending bait or as a sinking bait, all equipped with single hooks. And we have a fairly limited yet very comprehensive range of colors composed of a couple of bait fish colors, a couple of trout pattern, and one very much flashy color for tinted waters. The first pretty obvious characteristic of the Seco First is the shape of its body. So it has that very characteristic humpbacked shape that you're going to find basically throughout the whole range of Seco Lure Art Body Lures. That hump on the bag is not only there for aesthetic purposes, it actually helps the bait to sit better in the water and complement the action of the bib. But it also dictates the width of the body, so for a similar size, the Seco First presents a much larger profile than most of the other baits you're going to find on the market. The body of the bait is very much narrow with tall sides, which allows it to sit fairly well in strong currents and to follow really well the vein of currents when you're fishing in a river. Characteristic that you can't see at first is that the balance of the lure is pretty much perfect. It sits perfectly horizontal on the pose for the suspending version and for the sinking version, it will sink horizontally on the pose. And because of the shape, of the body, it actually shimmies really, really strongly on the fold. So that bait will continue to work even if you're basically not doing anything to it. You're just tossing it out and let it sink and it will start to fish right out. Second point worth noticing is the shape of the bib. It is fairly wide and pretty much square. So that tightens the action of the bait basically. The bait on Twitch Retrieve will have a very tight wobble side to side, but show the flank still very well and throw flash down in the water column really well. But in my opinion, where that design shine is that the bait behaves more or less like an elongated square bill crank bait. When you're retrieving the bait, it will show the size fairly well and fairly quickly and when the bait eats a piece of cover on the bottom of the river it will completely twist on itself and show the side and then track back basically what a square bill flat sided square bill crank bait would do that allows you to fish in fairly densely covered places to fish river beds with roots and to fish in amongst the stone fairly easily because the bait will deflect really well off cover Last point that I didn't mention yet is that the bait is completely silent. There is absolutely no moving part in that bait. It still casts really well because of its balance, but it is completely silent. 
So it is a bait that gonna shine in heavy pressured situations where the fish have seen a lot of baits already. Definitely that's the one to give it a try. So there you have it, the Seco First. Definitely a bait that is worth having in your tackle box. If you have any question about that bait, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. I will answer them as quickly as I can. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please do the usual YouTube thing, the like, the share, the subscribe, and so on. And we will see you in the next one. Salut!